The Conjuring universe is the shared universe centered on a series of supernatural horror films including The Conjuring, Annabelle and The Nun. The films present a dramatization of the supposed real life cases of Ed and Lorraine Warren, paranormal investigators and authors associated with prominent cases of hauntings around the world. I mean we're all familiar with them here on Top 5 Scary Videos. Love them or hate them, we can't help but talk about them. Some of these hauntings resulted in the couple encountering some truly terrifying demons and entities Entities. So today on Top 5 Scary Videos I'm going to be counting down our list of the Top 5 Scary Demons in the Conjuring Universe. Before we begin though be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be responding to some of your comments. And with that let's jump in. Also a heads up, a lot of these demons are the same demon in different disguises. Because surprisingly there's not 5 separate demons in the Conjuring Universe. So forgive me for that, let's all move on. Coming in at number 5 we have The Ferryman. The Ferryman is an antagonist in the Conjuring franchise, specifically appearing in the 2019 film Annabelle Comes Home. Directed by Gary Doberman, the movie follows Judy and her babysitter who were left alone in their house after her parents, Ed and Lorraine Warren, leave to investigate a case. However, an unexpected guest sets Annabelle free, unleashing demonic activity in the house. Now some backstory to this new character. The Ferryman was first investigated by demonologists Ed and Lorraine Warren after the death of a young girl by its hands. They interviewed those affected by the demon who told them that the ferryman demanded a toll or else it would take the souls of the departed. Ed and Lorraine were able to collect coins from corpses that were cursed by the entity and had them blessed and locked away in their museum. However in Annabelle Comes Home things take a turn for the worse when the Warren's daughter accidentally sets the demon loose, drawing energy and bringing the ferryman and other spirits to its aid. And honestly the ferryman is just downright terrifying. Coming in at number 4, Annabelle. Annabelle the doll, or more specifically the Annabelle demon, is the secondary antagonist of the Conjuring franchise and also serves as the main antagonist of Annabelle, Annabelle creation and Annabelle comes home. This is a powerful demonic entity that despite being able to exist independent, frequently latches onto a porcelain doll to torment those who own it. It is also one of the artifacts taken by Ed and Lorraine Warren during one of their cases. Annabelle is actually considered to be their most dangerous and haunted item and has a habit of moving around unseen. According to the films it is said that the doll first became possessed after a 7 year old girl named Annabelle Higgins died from an intended murder. Although she is said to possess the spirit of an actual girl, many demonologists think that it is in fact more of an evil spirit than a demon. Annabelle is unbelievably scary but what is worse is the demon that follows it around. Now its true demonic form was portrayed by Joseph Beshera who also portrayed Bathsheba, someone we are going to discuss a little later on. Outside of the Conjuring universe, Annabelle is also mentioned in The Curse of La Llorona. When Anna Tate Garcia goes to ask advice from Father Perez on how to rid her family of La Llorona's curse, he explains that he previously did not believe in the supernatural until he had a run in with a doll. The movie then flashes back to Annabelle's attack on him. So, is The Curse of La Llorona also in the Conjuring universe? That's my question. Am I late to the game? Does everyone know this? I don't know, I don't care. Coming in at number 3 we have the crooked man. To quote the lyrics of this creepy nursery rhyme, there was a crooked man and he walked a crooked mile, he found a crooked sixpence upon a crooked stile, he bought a crooked cat which caught a crooked mouse and they all lived together in a little crooked house. It's my favourite song. The crooked man appears in The Conjuring 2 along with another notable demon that we will be discussing a little later on. He is the spirit from the eponymous English nursery rhyme and is a maniacal lanky crooked man who torments the young son of the Hodgson's family. The crooked man is also an upcoming horror movie and the ninth instalment in The Conjuring universe. In September 2018 it was announced that the movie was in the scripting process and that the studio intends to wait until the story is fully developed before production will begin. And honestly. I for one cannot wait because The Crooked Man was arguably the best part of The Conjuring 2, quote me on that. Coming in at number 2, Bathsheba. Bathsheba Sherman is the main antagonist of The Conjuring which is loosely based on the true story of the haunting in Harrisville, Rhode Island. She is the evil spectre of an 1800s devil worshipper and witch. An interesting fact before we begin, despite being a female she was portrayed by Joseph Beshera who also played the lipstick faced demon in Insidious and the demon in the prequel film Annabelle. Bathsheba is a malevolent, sadistic and murderous demon who haunts the Perrin household. She is bloodthirsty, unsympathetic, remorseless and 
uncaring or cruel. Along the way, she possesses the mother of the parent family, turning her against her family and her children. She is vengeful, targeting any family that would take her land, and also the Warrens who attempted to investigate the land, leading to Bathsheba attempting to murder their daughter. Prior to haunting the parent family, she was an enthusiastic and fanatical follower of Satanism, which led her to sacrifice her own child to Satan and was willing to die for his beliefs. To quote Carolyn and Lorraine in The Conjuring, How could a mother kill her own child? It was never a child to her, she just used her god given gift as the ultimate offence against him. Bathsheba claps, stabs and screams, making her one of the scariest villains in the Conjuring universe. And finally, coming in at number 1, Valak the Nun. To quote Lorraine Warren in The Conjuring 2, Your name gives me dominion over you, demon, and I do know your name. You are Valak the Defiler, the profane, the Marquis of Snakes. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I condemn you back to hell. Valak is the main antagonist of The Conjuring franchise, first appearing as the main antagonist in The Conjuring 2 back in 2016. The film was directed by James Wan and follows Ed and Lorraine Warren as they travel to Britain to assist the Hodgson family who are experiencing poltergeist activity at their Enfield council house in 1977, which later became referred to as the Enfield poltergeist, in real life that is. Now Valak is absolutely horrific and is a very wicked, ruthless, sadistic, cold and completely despicable demon who appears in the form of a nun. The demon begins to haunt and terrify the Hodgson's family just for its own twisted pleasure. In turn Valak is feared by the nuns of the Abbey of St. Carter in Romania. It is spiritually oppressive, taunting Lorraine about her faith. On top of that, Valak is shown to be intelligent, calculated, well organised and a good mastermind, being able to disguise itself as a nun to not be noticed. Valak has also worked alongside other demons, including Annabelle's spirit. In mythology, Valak is known as the Great President of Hell, with over 30 legions at its command. The demon often manifests as an angelically winged boy riding a two-headed dragon, and it possesses the power to find treasures. In the case of the film, Valak's treasure was the vision of Ed Warren being impaled, which it offered to his wife Lorraine as a gift. So sweet. Well, there we have it. Do you guys agree with our list? Are there any scary demons that we missed? Leave us all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below. And perhaps we can do a part two. Before I go, though, I just want to respond to a few comments from one of our last videos. Top five scary responses from Ask Reddit. Prep for it said these were some great, scary yet believable stories. I love top five scary videos. Yes, they seemed very believable. Some of them are actually very terrifying. The man who broke in and sat at the end of the bed and then was discovered in the basement doing God knows what. That one me up. Just saying. You also love top five. I love top five. Thanks for loving top five. Glad you're here. Hilly and Batman said that top is killing my eyes. Yeah, I apologize to anyone that watched my previous video where I was wearing a striped shirt. I didn't realize the camera didn't like it so much. So now we know I won't wear that top again. We'll all move on, okay? Bad Boy Hitman said, All hail the Queen of Scary. She's back. Mad respect. I am back and I'm not going away again. You can't make me. No apocalypse can bring me down. I'm straight. Infamous Scarecrow said, Hi, I'm glad you're back. I want a shout out. Well, because you asked so nicely, you can get a shout out in from a scarecrow. Thanks. Thanks for the comment. Asterix said, Truth be told, I never visited Reddit before. Honestly, I'm also not too familiar with Reddit. I just look at the pictures. Some of them are fun. <laughs> and on that note, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another scary vid. And until next time, I'll see you later.